Hey, y'all. Hey, let's get into this intuitive reading, this intuitive message. <laughs> Look at the cards. Um... For foodie beauty, this reading is alleged and for entertainment purposes. Sometimes the tea is hot and sometimes it's not. You have to wa watch the video to the end to determine for yourself. If you're new here, welcome. And if you're always here, welcome back, friend. I'm back, you guys. Yes, yeah, so I didn't say anything, uh, uh, you know, initially because I was like, you know, I think I'm going to take my cars, blah, 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 blah. Um, and I went to Africa. I went back home to see my people. Say passe. I went, um... I went back home, so I needed it. You know what I'm saying? I felt like it was it was time anyway to just like reset. Somebody in the message was like, "Yes, reset, recharge. Yes, 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 all of that." And as I thought about it, I was like, "I'm not going to be able to reset and recharge if I take my cards." Duh. So I left them here, and it was, you know, it was a a thing. Like I was like, "Oh no!" But it, I'm glad I did it at the end of the day. So anyway. Um, shout out to my fam overseas. I already miss them. I was crying when it was time to leave. I was like, <laughs> but it's, it is what it is. This is life, right? This is what happens. This is what we do. Um, so let's just get into this reading, this intuitive reading, this guided reading that is alleged and for entertainment purposes only. Okay. Cause y'all was hitting me up and I was like, baby, I'm gonna break. I cannot, but guess what? I'm back. So I can. So, um, Somebody was like, in one of my messages, someone said, yo, foodie is back in Canada. And I was like, word. I feel like I said that she was going to be going back. Um, So let's just look at the energy around her move. I didn't even ask the question. So this is what spirit wants me to know now. And then I'll just start asking that question and just seeing what the cards say. Yeah, I know I don't like to talk too much. So if you're new here, welcome. And if you're always here, welcome back. Friend, what's up? All right, what's good? So let's just get into it. And let's just see what spirit says. Okay, so first and foremost, spirit is acknowledging that um, there is some panic. There is some anxiety. There is some PTSD. There's some deep breathing. <sighs> what's the word I'm looking for? It starts with a P. But oh, it's like... <sighs> Like she's, she's trying to catch her breath, but it's, everything is in her chest. So she's, she's very panicky, um, anxiety it doesn't start with a p but anyway um so i do see yellow here and i do see that this has to do with a lot of solar plexus energy in regards to this passionate love that she has for someone and or something um but she's trying to stand tall like a pillar strong pillar strong post in the midst of this thank you spirit in the midst of this what feels like confusion um it feels like confusion i am picking up on some water signs here so it could be a water sign element or it could just be acknowledging that this has a lot to do with her emotions but spirit is acknowledging Thank you, Spirit, that she needs to have some inner calm, focus on well-being, patience, deep breathing, all the things, like all the things. Um, and focus on the big deal because I, I feel like Spirit is acknowledging you're not focusing on what is really important right now. And this has to do with a love affair, something uh, of some kind of romantic nature. See this wilted flower? Roses remind me of love. And so it's allowing me to know, it's just interpreting that there's love lost. Um, and it feels like someone's got too big for their britches and they're coming up a little too short. I do see blue here letting me know that this is all about communication. So there is some communication around it. If she hasn't said something yet, it will be said and I, I know I've said that before just trying to recall some information the download is I've already said this okay so arrogance vanity self-importance being high and mighty modesty is needed and spirit is acknowledging this is why the boat is stalled again we get water sign water sign and or it could be emotional um, but there's also uh, mountains in the background this boat is stalled this boat is not moving so there's something in her life that is creating an obstacle where she can't move forward or backward and it's deeply set like the anchor is not moving anywhere because the, again spirit is saying do you get it now like have you seen your reflection do you re do you realize the repetitive nature repetitive cycle that you just you constantly lean on it's not working the thing like people this is saying um expecting um something different um like doing the same thing over and over and getting expecting something different is insanity. Like you're not going to go anywhere. And so it feels like spirit is, is not just stalling the boat. It is stopping it. You are to stand still. Not my business, not my problem. Both equal direction for me. We do see a mirror here, which is t telling me that this has to do with accountability and responsibility because it's a reflection. What do you see? You know what I'm saying? Do you want to change that vis visible, that, that vi do you want to change the vision of yourself? Okay. I'm trying to get it out. Okay, because there's a treasured objective in this, um, a purpose, determination. Like, they, they really want her to wake up and smell the coffee, smell the roses. 
Hmm, there's a pun intended on there somewhere. I don't know why. Um, but Spirit is also acknowledging that this has to do with her pouncing on someone. It was emotional. There is love in the background, but sure, you're 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 having a standstill. You're being you're you're being halted. I'm hearing halt because of something that you've done and you felt the need to go and do it. And anytime I get this card, I always say, hey, I wouldn't do it if I was you, but this is the nature of, of, of the beast. And also this is the realm of choice. And so people get to choose what they want to do. So go get it required and inspired action. Now is the time readiness and follow through. And spirit just keeps saying this. Anytime I read on her, like, please walk away from this romantic relationship, walk away from this romantic love affair uh, with kiss my grits. I do see pink letting me know this has to do with passion, but she should have said, no, thank you. You should have refused. You should have focused on self and self-respect and strength, um, but you didn't. And But then there's also like, there's this double-layered energy. And when I read on her before, and I'll thank you, Spirit, I always felt like there was someone else, okay? Someone else. So I don't know if this is the partner, um, the partner being Salah, or if this is her. But see, now, now there's this energy of two can play that game. It takes two, baby. It takes two. Um, some people want it all. But I don't want nothing at all if I don't have you. Like this is a vi this is a very layered and tangled situation because there is someone else over here. It's a lot of communication. It's a swirl of communication, but it's also a swirl of emotion around this energy. Someone is as sweet as a Georgia peach, and I do feel like you know when people bite into a juicy peach. There is some. <laughs> um, I don't know why Spirit was like drippage. I just feel like that word is just not appropriate, but. There is. It's like this juice that is spilling from um, the sweetness of, of this relationship or the um, there's some type of like, what's the feeling that I have right now about this card? There's something very, very intense and physical. OK, I feel comfortable saying that. Um, Cause you know you two can get a little funny, um, very sensual, very intense, very spicy, juicy. Okay, a beautiful uh, situation, flirtatious, delicious experience. Yeah, tender to the touch, and it's got her feeling like, oh my god, you guys. Let me tell y'all, sweet as a Georgia peach, right? Why the freak am I getting a number from Georgia? First of all, I don't. Okay. All these downloads. Okay, cool. So anyway, I don't know who that is. What am I to say? I'm trying to throw up. Okay. Okay. So anyway, this relationship got you sweating like a sinner in church or someone. It's very multifaceted. It's very juggling. It's very puzzling. I see all this in the background. It's also um, rose colored glasses is what's coming through as well. But it's a lot of solar plexus energy with the yellow here and that you're hiding behind your intuition because you know it's not right. Spirit is saying you were sweating like a sinner in church. I'm hearing lies, 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 lies. Guilt, remorse, nerves, worry, confession, coming clean, apology. See, there's something that's coming. And if it hasn't gotten here already what is the what is the reason that's what we were saying it's getting ready to happen it's getting ready to come and there's nothing that you can do about it because spirit has intervened and spirit said halt remember i kept saying halt i got this because you don't know how to do it and you won't do what we're she will not thank you spirit she will not do what they're telling her to do not my business not my problem and she just keeps trying over and over and over to have this this thing that she's wanting this manifestation this idea and she um, won't stop until she gets it. Uh, cats have nine lives. There's more than one way to skin a cat. She's always looking for um, a solution or someone else to help her live out this idea. Does that make sense? Um, but Spirit said, you know what? <laughs> Life is what you make it. Whatever you put in your red wagon, you have to pull in your red wagon. So get ready, okay? Because <laughs> buckle up. This is the university of the universe and everybody gets a turn, okay? So focus forward, anticipation, potential. Uh, keep your eyes on the prize. There are going to continue to be ups and downs because that is just life, okay? Um, but it really centers around your choices and on a very uh, small level, you know, I always say this because I'm not going in depth about it, but good choices equal good karma and bad choices equal bad karma, okay? All right, so that was a lot for opening. But there is another question. So what is the energy around uh, Foodie Beauty Chantel moving or going back to, I don't know why Sarah said moving, going back to Canada? All right, so... 
All right, Spirit said that she has returned to Canada because there's an energy of being very naive, oblivious, inexperienced, gullibility, study, and apprenticeship is needed. You know, like I said before, if you don't know what you're doing, then you gotta, you won't have to go ahead and exit left. If you can't handle the heat, get up out the kitchen kind of energy. You not ready for this rodeo. You're just not. And you play like you was. But there is something about her acknowledging now, like, I'm returning because there is a level of inexperience. There is an, 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 a level of naivete, obliviousness, gullibility, and I need to study more before I really p play around with this and Spirit is saying this is not just a physical situation that she has like physically with someone um, being that Salah like actually trying to take on and immerse herself in his culture but this also has to do with the brouhaha now I just you know casually candidly call it the brouhaha but I am talking about manifesting and placing your intentions um, to have someone or to keep someone or to have something but it has a very negative base it has a negative connotation negative energy Energy is around it okay and spirit is also acknowledging that this return back to Canada be that you were oblivious and you need to study more um, is also because you're upset there is something that just burns your ass like real talk it's a swirl of communication you're playing music you're overindulging in a beverage at the heart of it you do one piece I do see um, a candle here just let me know there is a practice of divination I do see red letting me know that you need to get grounded there is an energy of ancestors in the in the vicinity paying attention looking at you seeing you acknowledging what you're doing they're taking they like we're, we see what you doing like you cannot Hide from source, right? All right, so she's blowing off steam and coming back. Rebellion, merriment, overindulgence, and trying to escape. Now, in the middle of the deck, um, returning back to Canada allows her to just sit on the front porch and swing. Feet up. Kicking the feet back and forth. She is running from something Spirit is acknowledging. And this is bigger than anything that she has ever, you know, imagined. Um, and I think I've said this before in readings a long time ago. And when I say a long time ago, I mean like months ago. I don't know. You guys check it out. Uh, but there, this Spirit is saying law, law, law and order. So there is more to this than she is allowing people to know. But there, it does have something to do with law. Um could be love. I'm just, there's a lot of L's coming through, but it is what it is. Uh, good times, cozy feeling, slowing down and being in nature. So this allows her to kind of slow things down because things were moving very fast for her over there. And Spirit is acknowledging again in the area of law. Okay, so I'm going to let this desk ugh, deck rest because it, it just wants me to, it's like there's something else in the middle of the deck. Why is she returned back to Canada? Okay, so. Thank you. <sighs> Okay, so Spirit is acknowledging their water again. This is emotional and or uh, a water sign is attached to this, but there was something about a temptation, hankering, intimacy, uh, a proposal, adder, uh, a message of love has to do with this return to Canada, but this is also like, um, it's also like um, sneaky. There's, there's a reason and it's not just for love. It's also to chomp down and deceive someone and drag them into her emotions and twirl them into, and you know, in this emotional abyss until they cannot survive. It's almost like there's an attack here. Second time we hear about this and spirit is acknowledging um, that this also has to do with some kind of manifestation. Could be a manifestation and or could be a pregnancy as to why she has returned. Okay, so there's an energy of fertility in your prime beginning to core growth. Uh, the spirit said this is going to be expressed. I, and I keep saying that even without seeing the card. This is the energy to say that it's getting ready to come to the surface if it hasn't come to the surface already. Spirit is intervening. This does have to do with the heart chakra. Um, matters of the hearts. Thank you, spirit. But this is going to bring forth communication, honesty, courage, sharing, revelation, surprise news, text, and a phone call. And this is going to be expressed about someone hooking up, someone being in love with someone else, someone pillow talking, cuddling, sweet talking, neck kissing, uh, bonding, someone's favorite. This is what this has to do with. And I've said this before in my other readings and download is I've already said this, right? And that might be the title of this. I already said this because it just feels like we're like, yeah, you already said this. But yes, yeah, somebody... There's some type of communication, some type of revelation, some type of surprise news text and a phone call about somebody kissing and hugging up on somebody else. Not my business because it feels like an ouch. Like, ouch. That hurt. All right. So, foodie beauty. Why did she go back to Canada? Okay. 
Well, we got come together right now. Hold on me. I don't know if those are the lyrics. We do have eight in reverse. Eight is significant. But the reason why she's returning back to Canada energetically with come together in reverse is all about when the come together card appears reverse. It is a sign that perhaps a love connection is unbalanced. Is intimacy being withheld from you or are you withholding it from another? Longing and yearning are often mistaken for love when in fact they, they are signs of lack. Perhaps you've been doing all the emotional work and pouring your water, water into an empty well. Water just keeps coming up to the point that now you are also depleted. Know this, true love will not be denied you. What is truly for you will never walk past you or require this much energy. Drop the agendas, the fight that needs to win and allow love to flow through you. True love will always find its reflection. Second time we hear about reflection in another. Hmm. So it appears that something went wrong in the romance department is that why you're back all right remember this reading is alleged and for entertainment purposes booty beauty why did you go back to canada y'all crack me up and y'all be like emergency reading now i need it now. <laughs> i'll be cracking up not an emergency reading okay why did she go back to canada thank you Coping by replacement jealousy and the relationship just was not serious with rebound. There's also cultural differences and missing someone with long distance in reverse. Drowning in their emotions because there, because there was something that was unexplored and something unpredictable happened. Again, we get water, okay? So Spirit just keeps saying the same thing in that regard. Something else is in the middle of the deck. Thank you, Spirit. Um, Spirit is also acknowledging that what we're not seeing is that there was this energy of um, someone being very bright, vivacious, happy, loud, and colorful in this relationship. Just like everything is great. Everything is beautiful. Everything is wonderful. Something about this bird and the location of this kind of bird, the origin of a parrot is very, very loud as well. Something about this spirit is like, this is, has holds significance to her situation. I don't know if they had a bird. I don't know if these kind of birds are pr like very present in this country, in the country that he resides in. But there's something about a bird. It's just like the bird, the bird, the bird, the bird matters. Don't know why. But anyway, so they were very loud about this relationship, this connection, this love, this unconditional um, relationship. But Spirit is also acknowledging that there's some unwanted messages and or contact um, that someone had in the area of passion. Um, somebody was making the first move and somebody found out. So I don't know if she's going to acknowledge like a telephone call or some type of contact that just kind of through the relationship because it's like y'all was destined to be it was bright vivacious but what we're not seeing in the middle of the deck is someone was making some had an unwanted contact or unwanted message to someone else in the area of passion and they were the ones that made the first move and spirit is acknowledging that this is public knowledge and there was a violation of an unkept promise with lock and key in reverse so again it just keeps saying that if it hasn't happened it's getting ready to happen if she hasn't said it spirit said there's something else in the middle of the deck that she will say it okay and spirit said there's a lot of confusion right now um unknowns matrix acting like you're woke acting like you understand it but you really don't spirit is also acknowledging that someone has their priorities um or needs to focus on their priorities uh because they're very reluctant with i choose them in reverse they don't really know they're like they're trying to put things in order they're trying to say like this is what i need to focus on right now i cannot <laughs> i cannot do this I have to focus on this. But they're also reluctant. It's interesting. Um, there's some sulking around this energy, victim mentality and depression around what has happened, what has transpired. And Spirit is also acknowledging that this has to do with a karmic love, a karmic relationship. These two are karmic partners, karmic souls, karmic ties. They are not, it's not written in the stars for them to be together. And when I say them, I'm speaking in reference to Fudi and Salah. And so this is what's happening. And it's a lot of past connection, having to handle and settle some kind of karmic debt so that one or both can move forward, move in their own direction. So what I'm gathering here from what has transpired already with the cards is she left because something went wrong in her relationship something came up something there's some kind of information that that she um knew 
uh, or and couldn't confirm, but then confirmed or thought this was this, but now has confirmation that this is exactly what it was. There's also an energy of trying to hide it, trying to submerge it as long as she possibly can before it just spills out in the open. Once someone starts talking about what happened, be that Salah and or her or some kind of family member, it's over. It's just, it's that's it. She won't have to hide anymore. She can't hide anymore. And then she'll have to tell the truth as to what happened exactly. So let's just talk about Salah and Foodie Beauty real quick. Chantel, current energy. Yep. Spirit says 13 is significant. There is a friend request. Someone might have requested that we just be friends. <sighs> Uh, on the bottom of the deck, Spirit is acknowledging with magical moments. They're spending magical moments alone now with this friend request. Like, please, let's just be friends. Now they're just single and alone and dealing with, and, you know, just enjoying the single life. Is it foodie or is it Salah? All right. Which also creates someone to be cold as ice. There is still some unfinished business that someone has with another. So it could be the unfinished business that he has with someone else or that she has with someone else. Um, but they are going to explore that unfinished business that they have with someone outside of their relationship relationship but it's creating an energy of her and or him being cold as ice towards each other again we have water sign but this time the water is not flowing it's rigid it's paused it's delayed it's an obstacle right all right let's get these cards out why did foodie beauty return to canada Thank you. Um, because of the reversed roles in her relationship, doing things in an unconventional way and bad business with the Hierophant in reverse. Subconsciously, there is uh, paranoia, isolation, antisocial, feeling, the, feeling these kinds of ways, excuse me, um, with the Hermit card in reverse. So there's some Virgo energy, Earth sign energy on it. Becoming a conformist when you're typically a non-conformist. And in the middle of the deck, this all has to do with the King of Swords and Air sign energy. Um, someone who is masculine. Um, this is because someone Someone put th their foot down. There's a gavel. They are the intelligent one in this relationship or um, viewing this relationship because now it makes me feel like we're talking about someone else. So this could be Salah or this could be a male in his in his uh, family, something like that. Okay, I don't know. Um, but this is what we're seeing in the middle of the deck. Again, my question is, why did she go back to Canada? And they're saying what we're not seeing is because of this King of Swords, uh, this person who has to deal with law. Remember, I kept saying law. So we see law here again. Law. There's something about law, okay? And there's something about someone hitting the gavel. Could be a judge. Could be a man of high stature. Could be a man with um, a high rank. I don't know why Spirit wants me to go there. Okay. Um, and in the middle of the deck, Spirit is saying she didn't know whether to stay or go uh, with the Two of Wands. And this is in the area of passion, but also in the area of business. She didn't know. She is a wanderlust, but she's two steps forward, two steps back. There is some far travel in regards to why did she leave. So she had to leave. It was very far. I don't even know how many hours it is from where she lives to where he lives. But she said, you know, she had to make a decision and she had to take a risk. Okay. How does Salah feel about foodie going back to Canada? All right. Uh, conflict resolution. Like this was the best solution to this. Um, now there is harmony and now there is success with the five of wands. That kind of hurts. Like, oh, this was the best thing that we could have done. Okay. With the ace of wands, subconsciously, he's acknowledging um, that there was some manifestation that somebody, somebody definitely manifested, put their intentions to help her get up out of there don't know why very creative uh it was a project willpower desire this is in the area of passion but also in the area of business and i've said this in other readings thank you spirit you cannot play with people who know how to do it because they're going to do it 10 times better than you so someone definitely had intentions and i just keep saying someone because it doesn't feel like we're talking about one person we feel like it feels like a collective group of people came together to say it's time to go it's time to say goodbye now you know, that kind of energy. Okay, so in the middle of the deck, uh, Spirit is saying, um, yeah, her leaving for him. How does he feel about her leaving? Wishes coming true. Um, uh, abundance and good health, baby. Wow. I mean, if the cards could ever say, 
don't let the door hit you where the good Lord split you, th then I don't know what else. This is a perfect way for the cards to say, it was time for her to go. I wanted her to go. I don't know if she's coming back. I didn't ask that. But I'm just saying, when I'm saying, how do you feel about her leaving, Salah? How do you feel about Foodie leaving? He said, this was conflict resolution with the five of wands in reverse. With the ace of wands, all fire sign energy, all energy that is very passionate, um, that there was willpower. And this was a project. And he's waving his magic wand. This was an, 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 an um, a manifestation, an intention for her to leave. With the nine of cups, thank you, spirit. He's very fulfilled. He's very emotional about this. Wish is coming true. Like, thank you. Now I have good health. I'll have abundance. I'll have fame. I'll have rewards. It was time. It was time. <laughs> okay, anything else in the middle of the deck? Again, spirit just confirms that there was manipulation in this. There was um, scattered energy. There was wastefulness. You know, people were tapping into their manifestations, but there's also an energy of negativity around this manifestation. Um, because again, you know, what you put out, you get back. And so it's twisted on both parts. It's twisted on both ends. All right, you guys. So now we sit back and let the universe do what the universe does.